Hey guys, this is Sarah back here with another episode. So I am still here in our end house or what is the beginning of our end house um, trying to continue work on construction in this place and in the last episode we did finish the front of the house which I think is going to be um, a good indicator of how the rest of it's going to look. Like we don't have a roof or anything planned out yet but I think it's really starting to come along and now that I see that or see this I am really really inspired. I think it's gonna look good but uh, let's go ahead and get started here and I forgot to replant these in the last episode oops so hopefully those will grow a bit more because eventually we're gonna run out of resources um, but we do have quite a few saplings here so we should be okay for a little while I don't even know why I brought cactus with me because I, I was initially thinking like oh what if I need more cyan pains but you know what else you need to make cyan lapis and I don't have any so I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes. But anyways, um, the nice thing about this house is that it's built primarily from endstone and endstone is, you know, obviously very accessible out here in the end. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and work on these walls a little bit more, see where we can get with this. And I do want to incorporate some blue into this. Um, I don't know exactly where. I think a three wide window would look really good here. This is going to be where we're going to put the bed. There's just going to be a little bed here and then window. Um, I think that'll look good. Three wide window here, one wide window there, and then we'll see how that looks. Um, I'm just trying to plan this out. What should we have back here? Should we have a back door to go out on adventures or should this just be like a, a plain wall? Maybe we should have a back door. I'm not really sure. And then this wall could be blank. Hmm. If we have a back door, that would enable us to go out for adventures back there. But if we left it alone, we could actually have some storage here, which might be good. I just don't know how much we'll need that. Maybe it could be where we store all of our, um, like, end city materials. And we could have like a little cartography area. I think that would be good and then this could feel more open. So we'll make this back wall just a regular plain wall and maybe, or maybe, maybe it could be both. Maybe it could have windows anyways. Yeah. Okay. I think we could do this. So this will just be wall like that. Maybe we could even put in a fireplace. I, You guys know I love fireplaces a lot and I'm always looking for ways to incorporate them. I just think they're so cozy, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to stack this up here and ooh, you guys need to stop that. They're going to freak me out. I really need the Endermen to just chill out and leave me alone while I'm trying to do this because I'm so scared I'm going to accidentally look, with, look at one. I'm not even wearing armor right now, so it makes it really, really scary. And I'm sorry to all you ASMR people who are hearing me break my legs. I'm going to try to stop doing that. Okay. This needs to be one higher. This should be two higher. Oh. Ow. Oh, I thought that wouldn't hurt me, but it did. Okay. Yeah, we have lots of end stone, so we should be good. I don't know what I want to make the floor out of. Maybe the floor is going to be the chance to make the colors pop. Maybe that's our chance to incorporate some blue. But I also don't want to go overboard with that. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, you know what I just realized? Yeah, I, I think I just realized a problem. You know how I was just saying that over there, that's going to be where the bedroom is? Do you guys understand the problem with that statement? <sighs> I'm an idiot. We could still have a bedroom. Well, for those of you that don't know, beds explode in the end. You can't sleep in the end. I forgot. But you know what is nice about the end? You don't have to deal with those phantoms anymore. There are no phantoms here. Because you don't have to sleep, you also don't have to sleep. So I think that's pretty cool. Although the sound of the Endermen will probably get old after a while, um, but I don't really mind it too much. So let's go ahead and 
get these windows implemented here. I don't know if I have enough panes for all of these, so we might have to take a trip back to the main world at some point. I don't know. What are we going to use this little space for? Then I'm not sure. Just basically the purpose of this house is to have a nice cozy place to uh, recover and just have a base and get some food and do some cartographing or whatever the word is that what is the word for that is what is the verb for making maps if you guys know leave it in the comments because I don't know maybe we can learn something together is there a word for that map making uh, as in an action I'm not sure but I'm gonna finish up these windows here see if I have enough panes my gut tells me I do not but we're just gonna see so oh that actually needs to face the other way oops I have to go up there again but I'll be back in just a second you guys and we will see how all this looks I ran out of pearls so here I am back at it again waiting on all these guys to die and there we go okay so here we are and we're gonna take a quick look around I got all the walls done uh, pretty much oh I actually need to place some slaps uh, we can kind of go around and take a look at it what I have so far uh, while I'm doing that okay so that's gonna go there this is gonna go all the way across there's like a big window here on the back room do do we got two little side windows here and then this big section here has two large windows a couple more large windows just looking really cool all the way around and then I still have to add a little bit more detail like how we have the fences here with the lanterns but if you go inside here it does feel like an actual house now um, I'm just not sure what to do for the floor the floor is gonna need some sort of pop of color because otherwise this is just gonna be a really like milky and brown colored house but I'm not sure what to do with it honestly um, maybe we should just do spruce slabs and then actually no I think it should be a little bit lighter than spruce because of how warm it is should we use we don't have any birch see this would be one of those very rare times when I would say let's use some birch but I don't know didn't bring any birch with me maybe maybe oak slabs let's let's look and see how those would look in here what did I do with my pickaxe uh, should I just use uh, I'll just use this whatever okay so let's let's like take this little section and just mine this out and we're gonna replace it with oak slabs and see how that looks and then if we want to add like a really bright color we can add like some cyan carpet I think would look good oh yeah okay I think this will work that looks really inviting it's a different tone than the rest of it is uh, but just like ever so slightly so I think just filling it in with this will be good and then we'll have some carpets in here so let's go ahead and hollow this out replace the whole thing with oak slabs and I will cut back as soon as I'm done with that so here we go okay so here we go this is the interior so far we have two carpets lined up and now the only thing left to do basically is just the roof I think we're gonna do the roof out of Ooh. should I be careful about looking through here I I don't know if they can see me through glass or not I'm kind of worried now not sure but uh, the only thing left to do is the roof and I think we're gonna do it out of spruce I don't know if it should be spruce or dark oak let me look at this would it look good out of dark oak I honestly don't know what do you guys think should it be darker than the rest of the house or should it be like the same tone I think we're gonna go with spruce I think it's what we're gonna do um, just because that's what we've done in buildings in the past and it tends to look pretty good so let me make some inventory space here and see what spruce I have um, oh we have we have some this might be enough we're just gonna have to see oh I'll need these slabs actually all right so let's make what we need 
and we will get started on building the roof. Uh, I have some ladders, which I'll probably need just for the construction. We're not going to need any spruce logs for this. We're going to need a lot of spruce stairs for this. And I don't think I want the roof to have a super steep incline. I don't think it needs that. Um, but it's a pretty wide building, so we'll need a lot of stairs, I believe. Maybe like three stacks, that should be enough. Let's see how many we can get out of this. And then we will need some slabs as well. Okay, so that's about three stacks of stairs. Um, we'll see how far we can get with this, what we have here, and just kind of give it a shot and try not to look at any endermen while we're building. And hopefully this goes pretty well. So wish me luck, you guys. I'm going to start on the roof. Okay, we got a roof. We got a roof, everybody. Check out this roof. I think this totally changes the way this looks, and I think it is great. I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. I know to some of you might look at this and be like, what? It's just a roof. But like, I look at this and I'm happy. I'm just instantly happy because this was a pain to put on, and I honestly don't really. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is it you? No, you're chill, right? It's not you. It's just your buddy. Oh god. This is gonna happen a lot, isn't it? He's right outside. What do I do, man? Tell me what to do. He's your bro. Can you talk to him for me? Do something, dude! Oh, I'm gonna have to kill him, aren't I? Ah! Get out! Get out! Get out! This is my house! I have an axe! I don't have any armor on, but I do have an axe. God, this is terrifying! Okay. Woo! I really just need to get a pumpkin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that keeps happening. Okay. We got a roof. It looks really good and all that's left to do is gonna go ahead and fill in the walls. So let me get some end stone. Uh, probably a bunch of panes and I don't think we need any- this guy's not angry. I see he ran up real fast. He's just looking at me. Okay. I don't think we need anything else. I think that's all we need. Um, so I'm gonna just stack up here and we're gonna see what we can do with this. So, wait, no, we need logs because this has to go up. Okay, I have an idea for how this will work. Um, do I have, yeah, I have more dark oak. Okay, I hope this axe holds out. I made another axe. Or, okay. So, I know that this is gonna go straight up like so. This is gonna go straight up like so. And then these are gonna be stripped because the rest of it is stripped. Oh, I gotta be careful about those endermen. Okay, so since we know that, there should probably be like a section like this right behind it of just end stone. And we could have that here too. And then probably just like a two wide window there. A one wide window here and then a two wide window there that should look good so let me see yeah if we just have the panes the panes should go all the way up and connect right because panes used to not connect to things like the back of stairs and then they changed it and it was so nice it was so nice wait should this be wait this should have I'm sorry, I shouldn't be breaking these with my hands. This should have a uh, end stone going up like that. Right? Like that? I think so. Yeah, and then we place the panes and it should be good. So let's get these in here and, oh, that actually, that's gonna be like that. That goes all the way up. 
It's getting kind of cramped in here. Okay. And then this will be the same thing where it just goes up. This will be the same thing where it goes up. Oh. And then we can probably just have the panes come down from there. And then we're going to look at this and we're going to see how it looks because it might look like complete garbage. It's really hard to tell from here. Um, okay. We're going to chop this down. We're not going to look till we're down. And we're just going to see. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. It looks... It looks really religious for some reason. Now it just looks like a church. I do not like it. I think it's the triangle windows. It needs more window. I shouldn't have put the... The end stone. So much end stone. Okay. That's what it is. It needs more window and less end stone. Let me get back up here. And I'm gonna try and correct this. Give me a second. Okay, big reveal number two. Much better. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is much better. I also love the way the light beams, like the sunbeams, whatever, come off the roof. I think that's really cool. It's just a really cool contrast because this thing is such a little cottage and then behind it you have this black void. I don't know. Like, I just really like it. Um, so I did go ahead and do the windows all around the back side. I got this here. Why did I just hear something climbing a ladder? Did you guys hear that? Is it that guy? What are you doing in my house, dude? That's gonna happen a lot, I feel like. Um, got windows here. Looks pretty cool. And those are all of the big windows. So this is all set up and good to go. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put some leaves around the outside just to make it look a little bit more inviting. I'll have to put some dirt there underneath it too. Um, just because that's what I've been doing around the sides. But yeah, this looks pretty good I feel like. And I'm not sure if we're gonna put like dirt literally everywhere around this. Um, just turn this into like a grassy island area. I really don't know. We'll just have to see. But this wasn't a lot of effort to make or anything, so I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, why did I just do that? That was weird. Let me finish putting the bushes here, and then we'll go ahead and wrap things up. And here's the interior with all of the windows, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, I think with this large column here, this large section of the wall, we definitely do have room for a fireplace, so I'll probably try to incorporate that. But for now, the interior is at least functional, which I think is what we wanted, so I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. And in our next episode, we will work on the interior, actually set up our maps and start a project that we're wanting to do where we're mapping at the end, figuring out where all the cities are, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so I guess we'll head outside here for a second. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and if you did, uh, consider subscribing and sharing this with one of your friends. That would really help me out. If you know somebody who's into Minecraft and likes building, or wants, you think would want to watch my series, share it with one of your friends. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next episode. My name is Sierra. Bye bye